And there is heartbreak and closure. A dramatic ending to the trial of wealthy philanthropist Rebecca Grossman. She was found guilty of second degree murder, among other char charges, in the killing of two young boys in Westlake Village back in 2020. KCAL News reporter Tom Wade is here now with the jury's verdict. And do you have a reaction from the victim's family, Tom? Exactly, Pat. And it was such an emotional day mm. in court, as you can imagine, the conclusion of this case bringing up so much. The family of the two boys killed, 11-year-old Mark and 8-year-old Jacob Iskander, says every day of that trial was like a funeral for their sons. The boys' family says the verdict does give them some sense of closure. My family, we've been waiting for this for three and a half years now. Nancy Iskander reacting to the jury's verdict in the killing of her sons, 11-year-old Mark and 8-year-old Jacob. Well, this trial every day in court here felt like I'm attending the funeral of the boys again, day after day. It was on the second day of deliberations, a total of about nine hours on both days, to find wealthy philanthropist and socialite Rebecca Grossman, co-founder of the renowned Grossman Burn Center, guilty on two counts of second degree murder, two counts of gross vehicular manslaughter, and one count of hit and run resulting in death. Prosecutors say Grossman was racing 81 miles per hour in a residential area after having drinks when she hit and killed Mark and Jacob Iskander, slamming into the boys in a marked crosswalk in September of 2020. Nancy Iskander and her husband praising the prosecution for proving their case and the jury for their verdict. They worked against some of the most <laughs> evil <laughs> defense attorneys, uh, but they've done their job and, and we are now um, ready to start our healing process and we uh, we're trusting the justice system. It was amazing how uh, how, how they lie. I mean, like, I don't know how to say it, but they, are, they, they just lie, lie, lie. This is video of Rebecca Grossman in her last moments of freedom as she awaited the jury's verdict. After she returned to the courtroom, the verdict was read and Grossman was taken into custody in a dramatic scene. Our Jasmine Veal was inside the courtroom. You heard gasps, sobs from um, both families, the children of Rebecca Grossman uh, wailing into their father's arms uh, as their mother, Rebecca Grossman, uh, was handcuffed and led away by deputies. Um, her children at that point, they jumped up out of their seats. Uh, deputies had to step in and hold them back as uh, Rebecca, as she passed them, she said, uh, can I give them a kiss? And of course that was not allowed and she was walked out of the courtroom. The daughter turned around at one point and looked toward the general direction of the Iskander family and, her, and their supporters who were sitting in the courtroom. And the daughter said, how, uh, her words, how would you do this? Grossman's attorneys tried to convince the jury Grossman's then boyfriend, former Dodger Scott Erickson, who she was having drinks with the night of the crash, was actually the one who hit and killed the boys. The jury did not buy it. Nancy Iskander describes the emotions that she felt as Grossman was led away in handcuffs. Obviously heartbreaking. Um, no one wishes that on anyone, I promise. I do not have any hate for her. Um, my heart broke for her children. Um, I saw when, when her son was there, I saw Mark, who would be 15 now. I, you know, um, I'm, I'm a mother, you know, and so it, it wasn't easy, but it will bring me closure. Grossman faces 34 years to life in prison. Grossman's attorneys ask that the judge, not the jury, determine the sentence. So, Pat, as you can see, there are a lot of emotions. Yeah, no question. Possible. It's hard to believe, too, that that happened so many years ago. I yeah. mean, a little, a little less than four years ago. Right. You know, a lot of things happened even before the verdict was read. This was right. such a um, sensational trial, but there was also some confusion about um, a, a, a tape of evidence, mm -hmm. supposed evidence that was not allowed mm -hmm. in the courtroom, but I guess someone on her team just tried to give it to a reporter anyway? Exactly. So the, the, the prosecution came back today and said that they wanted Grossman taken into custody because they said that either she or someone related to her, perhaps somebody she's friends with or a family member, or maybe even her, released some video that was not allowed in the case. It was video apparently of deputies after the fact, after the crash, which apparently she thought maybe 
sort of vindicated her. It's it's very unclear what she thought this video would do, but it was video that was not allowed in the case, and the and the prosecution asked that she be arrested. That was denied, but just you know, I, I few, just a few hours later, maybe less than that, she the verdict taken. is read exactly. And I think people were surprised by that. Maybe her own team that that they actually remanded her right away. Right. I know they asked for her to be out until sentencing which is April, but mm -hmm. uh, the judge uh, denied and said, no, a, a, a murder has been exactly. committed. Exactly, yeah, that's that was exactly the, the right path. It, he said because of the, the gravity of the charges mm -hmm. and the guilty verdict, justice must not be delayed. And so that's why she was taken into custody right away. All right, we, we do know that they are going to appeal. They yes. have already said so, and we also, uh, surmise that a civil, some kind of civil litigation will Absolutely. happen as this well. Absolutely, this is not the end. Yeah. 